Hello, this is Scott Bocceno at Broadband World Forum 2016, and I'm talking to Bart Verkamen of Technicolor. Hi, Bart. Nice to meet you. You too. And I understand you've been talking a lot about ultra broadband here at the show. Do you want to tell us a bit more about that? Yes, correct. I think if we if you look at the market today, um, uh, you might see that every year everybody talks about more speed in the home, uh, more speed towards the home. And every year you might think when this is going to end. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of drivers in the market that uh, that make that speed ever needs to increase. Uh, the buzzwords of this year are virtual reality, augmented reality, yep. uh, vid new video techniques like HDR, uh, new color coding schemes that are making a huge increase in demand in terms of bandwidth. That will make that uh, MSOs and, and, and NSPs will need to invest in more bandwidth towards the home. Yep. Uh, next to that, there's also more expectation from consumers that they don't want to wait for content. If you have your, your next version of iOS, your next version of Android on your phone, on your tablet that you want to download, people don't want to wait 20 minutes until everything's been yeah. downloaded to, to your phone or tablet. So they want to do that instantaneously. So that's more about peak bandwidth. But even so, that means a bigger pipe that you need towards your yeah. home. And uh, so that will presumably require some clever technology. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about some of the technologies that are enabling this? Correct. I think depending on the medium that's been, uh, let's say, that, that's been used, uh, whether it's on the typical cable industry, being Doxus 3.1 is a new technology that not only looks at uh, making sure that you get more bandwidth, uh, up to 10 gig towards the home, but also looking more towards making use more efficient use of the network. So it's a combination of both aspects, because next to new bandwidth techniques, a lot of the Operators also looking ways to reduce the costs of bringing that towards the home. Uh, when you talk about mobile, it's about LTE, 4G, or even the coming years 5G that we've been talked about. Um, if you look at the typical world we talk about here in Brabant Forum, the telco industry, yep. it's about uh, G dot fast, uh, or it's about fiber, where we have discussions and a lot of industry buzz around 10 gigabit even around that when you talk about gpon uh, a number of things are happening so it depends on the let's say on the, on the physical medium that, that has been used okay and um i presume that the reason you're talking about this so much is that technical is uh, involved in the sort of implementation of all this can you tell me how your company fits into this mix well i think typically technical wants to be at the forefront of new technologies we want to drive uh, let's say in our strategy news what we call service experiences towards the towards uh, the community being a for the consumer a better user experience of what that means and of course a better access speed and a bigger pipe fits into that uh, that part next to that we want to play in a better uh, experience for the nsps making sure that they have better visibility in the home that they have better diagnostics making sure that they can run and operate the network in a more efficient way so that means as well that we need to that we want to or we need a bigger pipe towards the end user to, to get this data from the end user towards the network to get to get more, more of that through. So that's where we want to play and we want to be at the forefront. So on all these kind of technologies, we're trying to build solutions that uh, embed these technologies, make sure we have products that are at the forefront, be present of trials, be present of the early deployments, helping in standardization to make sure that this really gets deployed and gets traction. And also what we want to focus on is making sure where these technologies can work together to build better solutions. I'll give an example when it's about hybrid technologies combining, for instance, a mobile network together with a, with a fixed network uh, to make sure that the bandwidth, let's say, is increased all over the place so that you, even in rural areas, can get, get the maximum out of what needs to be done uh, for deployment. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.